good luck to all those men who wear this new frontline kit. Tragedy resulted from a fire which ravaged the Danish motor ship area as she lay off Astoria, Oregon. She was about to begin a pleasure cruise to the Virgin Islands, but the blaze trapped 11 people, 8 passengers and 3 of the crew who lost their lives. In spite of all efforts to control the fire, it burnt for 14 hours and the ship finally lay beached only 100 yards offshore. Somewhere off Korea, the American submarine Volador recently went to the rescue of a crashed helicopter. Two sailors had the chilly task of swimming in the icy water to help the aircraft's crew of two and one passenger. was Charlotte Knight, a well-known American journalist, and after the rescue they all appeared to be none the worse for the unpleasant but thrilling adventure. One thing certain, the lady correspondent undoubtedly had a first-class, first-hand scoop for her magazine. And here, washed ashore at Edgemar Beach, California, a 3,000-pound World War II American mine is seen being relieved of some of its lethal content by naval experts. Then, with a detonator attached, it was blown up. Wisely, they gave it a wide berth. In Korea, United Nations prison camps for captive Reds are all clear.